Every week feels like a new opportunity for someone to step up and be counted in the NPFL and last weekend was no different with 9 games played, 15 goals scored and a lot of stars that took center stage as they helped their side secure maximum points on match day 21. Welcome to Football Amebo NPFL Team of the Week powered by Football Galore, your number one stop for everything Niger football. We start off with the goalkeeping position. In goal, we have picked Rivers United shortstopper Teofilos Afelokai. The experienced Super Eagles goalkeeper puts on an assured showing and forwards several attempts by the Rangers attack to help his side to a 1-0 win in Enugu. He was never afraid of coming off his line to snuff out danger and always acted with confidence in his area. He nicks this spot ahead of Ikech Kuizen who also had a solid performance for Atland in Noweri. In defence, we have gone for a back three and Tebo Franklin takes his place in the middle. The Nasarawa United fresh boy didn't allow Nazifi Yaya and Manu Gaba any space to thrive in his area. He was solid in the air and on the ground, especially against Nazifi. His space and awareness also helped him make several significant interceptions. To his left is the second Rivers United man on this list, Ifania Nemena. The big man hardly looked out of place and never allowed the opposition a minute's respite, driving his team forward and the opposition backward with real authority. It is performances like this one that got him into the national team previously and he might just get another call up if he keeps it at this level. MFM's Adeinka Najim completes the back three. The Lagos fan favourite kept the Worry Wolves forwards pretty quiet for most part of the game and he did so with an ease that suggested he knew exactly what they were going to do. He also caused a few problems when he moved up the pitch and got the assist for MFM's first goal. Barry Legbara slots in at one of the two central midfield positions. Legbara completely bust the midfield, never stopped running and was always ready to take the ball off the opposition and initiate attack for his side. His assuring display gave the platform for the attacking guys to cause havoc and that they did to good effect in Ozoro. <music> Castina United came into it with lots of expectation but they met a stumbling block called Kelechi Chimeze. The Hatland midfielder topped his courageous performance in the middle of the pack with an absolute pitch of a goal from 19 yards out to seal the win for his side. <laughs> Before we get on with the rest of the list, I feel like this is the perfect time to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed the video up to this moment. Don't forget to also turn the notification button on so you'll be notified when we upload another video. Now that you're part of the family, let's get on with the rest of the video. A man in fine form, Chigozi Obasi put in another faultless performance for his side in Bauchi on Sunday. The former Lobby Stars man was a constant threat down the right side for United and sent in the perfect assist for Yusuf Anas to equalize and spark a comeback. He has assisted three goals in his last two games for Nasara United since the second stanza commenced. Brighton Yudikachi played what was arguably his best game so far this season. The Super Eagles winger scored the first and assisted the second to end the Man of the Match award in the game against Castina United. He was effective in the attacking areas and seemed to confuse the visitors with his movements across the forward lines. Clement Ogu was well involved in MFM's triumph in Delta State. The forward played some precise football and set up several chances which were not taken. The 23-year-old would eventually score a scream out five minutes before halftime to double his team's lead.
Lobby stars Osi Martins is the second of our three frontmen. The young attacker caused lots of problems for Ifan Yuba with his long distance efforts. He grabbed the first goal and laid a fine assist for the second as Lobby ran out winners in Makodi. The star of the week and arrowhead of our attack, Charles Asimene scored a brace for Aqua United to help keep them at the summit of the league. His first strike was a product of quick thinking inside the box, while his second was a beautiful coiler into the bottom left corner after a smart turn. He now has six goals for this season and might just be the in-house replacement for the departed Ndefreke Efiong. Picking a coach for this team was the toughest task this week as there were a few managers who thrived in tactical battles but we settled for MFM's interim boss Olaleko Gabriel as his sides were probably the most convincing of any away side last weekend. The church boys have now gotten maximum points from their last two games and are gradually opening a gap between them and the drop zone. Here's our team of the week. A back three of Anemina, Tebo Franklin and Najim should provide enough cover for Teofilos Afelokai. Chimezi and Legbara in central midfield positions, while Obasi and Bright run the flanks behind a three-pronged attack of O.C. Martins, Ogu Clements and Charles Ashimeni. A solid team, this one. Let's keep the conversations going in the comment section. Tell us who you think deserves to be in this team that was left out and who made it to our team of the week that probably should not have been listed. See you again in our next upload. Stay safe. Bye bye.